gonna run this time not even here. She outside. She not in here. I'm standing up. <laughs> I'm black woman. Ty, you hear this man try to start this conference without press conference without you? I ain't know Andrew was coming. <laughs> You see, she right here. She ain't in here. <coughs> that girl, <Start>. out. <laughs> <laughs> Whenever you're ready. Well, I knew it was going to come down to the last five minutes. Uh, the previous three times we played, it came down to the last five minutes, and whoever could make shots and make plays down the stretch, that's what was going to win the basketball game. Open it up for questions for our student athletes. Well, of course, the shot. Tell us what happened. Um, I saw we had five seconds left, so I knew I had to get down there and put up a good shot. I didn't know whether it was going to be a two or a three, but I just happened to be behind the line, so I shot it. I mean, that has to be like something you practiced as a kid, growing up, like being <laughs> in that situation. Have you ever been in that situation before? Um, Not really, but it's just something that I practice, like shooting those kind of shots. Was there any thoughts to to pass, like maybe someone else might be open, or from the inbound, you knew, look, I'm taking this. <laughs> uh, I wasn't really looking for anybody. I didn't see anybody in front of me, so I was like, I'm gonna just take it. You know, this young lady, when I was recruiting her, um, looking at her tape and everything, she was one of the purest three-point shooters I've ever seen. She hit 12 or 13 threes in games in high school. She's hit half-court shots before, she's hit three-quarter shots before. So uh, to me, it wasn't a surprise. I thought she would get a good look pushing that basketball up the court, and she squared up, and she can shoot it deep. I mean, she can shoot it uh, Steph Curry range out there. Coach, I thought the best case scenario was that Woodard would miss the first and make the second so you could have a clean inbound. What, what were you hoping would happen when she went there for those last two free throws? I thought they would sag back like they did. Uh, because we run, we had four people flat, and they didn't want to give up anything easy, and they wanted to make a take a three. And once Aaliyah grabbed it and pushed it up, I saw her with a clear lane, and I felt real good about her getting a good shot up. And I knew she could make it. I didn't know if she was going to make it or not, but I knew she had the potential to make it. It wasn't luck, you know. It, it wasn't luck. She's a skilled player. She can shoot the three ball. Coach. Last night you said that, like, you guys were talking about it's going to take defense and rebounding to be in this position. And by golly, here we are. So just a recap on that, those two elements. Well, when they go to a really big lineup, a money had to go at Angel Jackson, which she's given up probably seven or eight inches. But we wanted to make them play like we wanted to play. We didn't want to flip flop and have to put two bigs in. She stretched the defense all night. I mean, she's a hard guard for a bigger player. She can put the basketball on the floor, but once she knocked down a few threes, she could get to the mid-range. Then they wouldn't help off her. She could pitch it, and we could get easy shots for other people. She played a, uh, a money, played a great game. Bonnie, talk about your efforts. Uh, and those, did you feel how crucial your shooting was going to be while you were out on the floor? Yeah, I know I had to step up today and make big shots when they need me to. Um, I've struggled against Jackson State in the past, so I tried not to do that today. I knew today was a big day, and I could feel that it was our time to win. Coach, extensive experience in the SWAC tournament, won a couple titles yourself. What, like moving forward past this game, what are you telling your girls to get them ready and letting them know what it takes to win this tournament? Well, it's just stay focused, number one. Make sure we uh, get a good night's rest. Come in tomorrow, we're going to go through our little shoot around and our scout. Uh, I mean, it's routine by now. You know, the main thing is just staying focused, doing the little things correctly, uh, and just staying disciplined on both ends of the court. And then we have opportunity to win. Uh, I think that this team, well, I knew from Jump Street that this team was skilled enough if we came out and played discipline that we could win every basketball game. At times we hadn't, and that's the game that we lost. But if we come out and play discipline, we're deep enough and we're skilled enough to beat anybody. Two bigs tomorrow. Do you, do you like the way your team matches up against these big front lines? I do. I mean, they have a, a size advantage, of course, in the paint and on the on the boards. But we try to make teams play small ball. 
So they're going to have to step out and go with our three-point shooter. And we're going to shoot the three ball if we get it open. Um, we're going to put the ball on the floor and get to the mid-range. So, you know, we're just going to play our game. What would another championship mean for you and your program and your girls? Well, for, for me, it, it's, you know, I've been blessed and fortunate enough to win probably eight or ten championships. It's always good for me to see the young ladies that work so hard tirelessly in the summer, uh, lifting weights, running, conditioning. I just feel good for them, you know, not for myself, but for these young ladies that work extremely hard. What does it say about the conference? Uh, look, Jackson State is, you know, they are what they are, uh, but this entire tournament was hard for them, and, and you guys beat them. What does it say about the quality of the women's basketball across the league? Uh, it, it's tremendous. Uh, we've, we've moved ahead of some of these other mid-level conferences, without a doubt. Uh, not with just power five players alone, but you know, with the skill set and the coaching across the league. I mean, you have no easy games, none whatsoever. So every <coughs> night you have to prepare like you're playing a championship game. Thank you all so much. Congratulations. All right. Thank, Thank you. you. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.